guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can tell from the title I do have some news for you <laughs> I can't believe this is happening oh my god so this is pretty crazy um yes I am leaving Korea and for those of you who have, who have been following me from the very 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 beginning y'all know I have been in Korea for a very long time <laughs> so I am going on seven years now of me living and working in Korea and it's just really become my second home like especially because I do have family here um, if those of you are new to my channel right now I am half Korean so my mother's side of the family they all live here in Korea and during these seven years I have definitely grew this like huge relationship with them so that is really going to be sad to leave them behind but um yeah I guess it's just time you know so as you can see I'm actually sitting down in this video because I want us to just have a little chit chat I'm gonna give you some life updates and where my channel will go from here and you know just a bit of information oh so, yeah um let's let's talk so first off why am i leaving korea i'm gonna go ahead and put this out here right now it is not because of the coronavirus okay um yes the coronavirus is getting out of hand especially lately like it's crazy how it went from like 23 cases and it seemed pretty stable to literally almost a thousand today. Today is what day is it? February 25th and it is almost a thousand cases of coronavirus now and it literally happened almost overnight, practically overnight. So it is getting really ridiculous but that is not the reason why I am leaving Korea. Um, I guess I could just say that it's time. Um, mainly because my passion for teaching is not there anymore and I know I could probably like try to find a different job or whatever but even my Korean skills are not that good to compete with um, Koreans looking for the same job or like applying to the same jobs and stuff like that um, me being half Korean I do have an F4 visa so that does mean I could just live in Korea as a regular citizen I don't need to be sponsored or anything to stay here um, however, it is hard to get a job here as well. Like it's just, it's very competitive. Your education matters a lot. And obviously I would need to speak Korean. <laughs> so for me, at least, I feel like the only option I really have here as far as work goes is to be a teacher. And that passion has definitely left. Uh, which is kind of sad because especially with this last school I've had like I worked at I could tell y'all now because I don't work there anymore but I worked at Seigok Middle School here in Seoul um, Gangnam Seoul and that they were amazing the school is amazing the students were you know fairly amazing of course you have a, a rotten apple here and there but for the most part it was all absolutely amazing like I was so blessed to have such good staff and such amazing students and yeah everything was really nice and I kept thinking to myself if this was the job that I started Korea with I would probably have stayed at that job for my entire seven years of living here um, but it's unfortunate I did two two and a half years there and now I'm leaving so a big part of why I'm leaving is because teaching is not my passion and I actually do have a passion that I really want to work towards and I don't know if y'all want to hear that whole story but to keep it short I just want to be a child life specialist I'm not gonna go too much into details as far as explaining what that is and stuff you can search it um, if you're curious because yeah it's kind of a lot to explain but um yeah that's kind of my passion I want to be a child life specialist and I have a few more classes to finish and then an exam to take as far as well as um internship hours to do before I can do that and I can't do that here in Korea I I think um to kick start my journey to reaching this goal my best bet would be to go back to America so that's where I'm going back to and that's where I plan to hopefully settle down one day which brings me to my next reason for going back to America and that is to settle down I am 30 you guys this year I turned 31 and I 
I think it's time. Like, it's time for me to meet Mr. Prince Charming and maybe make some babies, okay? Get my mom some grandbabies. Um, so yeah, that's the other reason why I'm leaving. I am... I'm just, I'm grown now. Like, I feel like it's time. I've done so much while I've been out here in Korea, and it's been amazing to live my young adult life here in Korea and to be able to travel around the world and not have to worry about a husband or not have to worry about children or anything like that. I've been just literally living my best life, okay? But. I don't know like I'm just I'm really I feel really blessed and grateful that I've had this opportunity to just explore and travel and meet amazing people literally all around the world okay and yeah it's been really really great so now I feel like that chapter is just closing and it is time to open a new one <laughs> to be real though I'm going to miss Korea so 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 much like there are so many things that sometimes I literally just sit here on my sofa and just daydream and I just think about how I'm gonna miss this and that and oh my god the connections I've made if you have a Korean family friend like you become friends with the mother of this Korean family you are a part of their family now like there are so many Korean families that I have become a family of <laughs> like over time and it is just crazy how accepting they are of you and how much they love you and they treat you as if you are seriously a part of their family i am rambling again <laughs> anyway so let's go ahead and move on yes i know this video is kind of a long one and i know i'm just talking and talking and talking but that's the point that's why i said i'm sitting down in this video because i just want us to have a conversation and just a life update basically so let's move on to the channel now. I am concerned about how busy I'm going to be. Um, so I'm not really sure how often I'll be able to film or you know edit videos and stuff. But I do want to try. Um, like I said earlier, I am going to be taking classes and working a full-time job. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to film. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to sit and edit in between all of that. Because I'm also hoping to start internshipping as well. So it's going to be a lot on my plate. Especially for at least like the first year of me being back in America. Um, but yeah, so it is kind of up in the air as far as how often I am going to be filming and uploading. Um, however, I do have a lot of footage. Like so much footage of unedited videos that I really do want to put up still even though they are mad old at least some of them are at least two years old you guys of different trips we've been on that I have just not edited yet um, different topics that I've talked about uh, about living in Korea that I just haven't gotten around to edit yet so what I might do since I don't think I'll have time to film and edit I might just start working on some of my old videos and play catch up and start uploading um, videos from other trips and stuff like that so yeah so we'll really just see I guess uh, I do hope you guys continue to follow me if not on YouTube then maybe at least on Instagram because I will be posting more on Instagram I will be kind of like still sharing my life and stuff I guess um, in America on Instagram as well um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not really sure um, as far as what kind of content I'll be putting on my channel though. I'm thinking about kind of transitioning to more like tall girl related stuff. Um, just because I do like to share where I get my clothes from as a tall girl and just like life as a tall girl in general. Um, but you guys should also remember that my mom is Korean. So I will still have Korea, Korean related videos as well. I do have a couple ideas in mind already so I'm excited about those and I'm excited to be able to actually film or make videos or content with my mother in my videos now and um yeah so I think it'll still be kind of Korea related type things but it won't be me actually living in Korea that is the plan for my YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so that is my life update. Um, it is completely chaotic right now. I am four days, three days from having to be out of my apartment. Oh, y'all just don't get it. The stress, the stress has been unreal. Ultimately, I will say that I am excited, I think. Uh, it is a new chapter uh for me to just start like this chapter in korea has been absolutely amazing the amount of 
beautiful positive memories and <laughs> relationships that I've made here are just unbelievable and like oh no I'm getting emotional <laughs> <laughs> That's how I stop being emotional. I make myself laugh. So, yeah. Ultimately, I am excited, um, even though it's going to be a lot of work. But anyways, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for your continued support. And even if I do take a year to post my next video, <laughs> I still hope you guys continue to follow my journey, at least on Instagram, okay? You guys take care, um, and I will see you in America, I guess. Alright, <laughs> you guys take care. Bye!